On the third day of the trip through southwestern Bolivia, we picked up where we left off, at high altitude over 4,300 meters above sea level, and constantly surrounded by the ubiquitous snow-capped peaks. By this part of the trip, we were winding down on the extreme high altitudes, and our landscape was quickly and drastically changing in and out of desert. We saw our last reflective lake and then headed to fields with giant boulders and rock formations, some resembling various images or symbols, such as the condor. Three kilometers outside of the town of Ushuni, we visited El Cementerio de los Trenes, or the train cemetery, where Bolivia's trains go to die. The cemetery basically consists of two columns of rusted out sets of trains which you are free to explore and climb on top of, with little care for whether or not you've recently had a tennis shot. The icing on the cake for this trip was visiting the Salar de Ushuni in a pre-dawn raid of 4x4s of tourists searching for the perfect photos. These giant salt flats look and feel like snow and bring out the kid in backpackers as they jump around and take photos playing on the aspect with the horizon. However, we learned pretty quickly that it's actually pretty difficult to take these pictures and it takes time and practice. At 3,625 meters above sea level, the Salar is frigid in the morning but quickly heats up in the afternoon. With the organized tour ending in Ushuni, I moved on to Sucre, the colonial city eight hours northeast. One of the main attractions there, besides its beautiful center, is the dinosaur theme park where tracks were discovered and preserved. Riding up in an open truck, you also get a little city tour as you climb into the hills. Lower in altitude, Sucre enjoys a permanent spring-like climate. The dinosaur park was actually nothing special, though it does give you nice views of the surrounding scenery, which makes it worthwhile on one end. And it is pretty interesting to see the tracks as they rose up on the hills. Sucre is where the bulk of my Bolivian trip ended, and soon it was back to northwest Argentina. Signing out of Bolivia, I'm John Brandt.